Hello everyone, this is Diane. I am working on some beautiful uh, book covers, making them into journals using these gorgeous covers with the pretty ladies on them. They were like uh, Pulp Fiction from the early 1900s. Um, and, and a lot of them had just gorgeous covers. And I'm running low on the beautiful lady covers. I think I have one more cover that features a pretty lady on it. Uh, this one is completed. It's not in my shop at the time of filming. It might be before you see the video. It might have already been listed and sold, but I don't know yet when it's going to be listed. But this is Sweet Girl Graduate, and it features blues. I'm not going to go through it, because um, I'll do that when I do the flip through when I list it. But I'm going to do similar techniques in here, and this one is called the Wild Olive. I am going to look at it myself so I can remember what kinds of things I want to do. I've, I've got to start on it. So this is just the humble beginnings. I haven't done anything to the cover yet. I will, I may keep this spine. The other spine was not in good condition. I couldn't keep it. But I might be able to just reinforce this one and keep it. Um, the other one I made one and three quarter inch spine. So let me see how wide this one is. This would be smaller. One and a half inches is pushing it. We'll see. So depending on how thick the signatures get, I may keep this spine. I was thinking about taking something, one of these laces that I got in a Happy Mail that have the thick rosebuds and, and so it would be hard to use them inside the journals. I was thinking about decorating <coughs> Sorry, the front. Maybe put a butterfly down here or something. I don't know. But I have them here so I don't forget. I'm using a journal kit from a digital kit from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and I've had this for a long time. It's, it's still available in her shop. I will link it and it's called Miss Lady Fay and it has a lot of greens and reds and since this cover is green and there's a red scarf there I thought this was a great cover or a great kit. Um, I did have to trim. Now I'm confused about something. I printed this way back when I bought it so it's been a few years in my stash and I had a nice margin around it, and I, so I did have to trim some to fit into this small cover, but not a, a terrible amount. And I had printed this, this was part of the kit, and I had printed it on the backs. Well, there were some pages that I didn't print that on, so I printed them this time. I have an, a different printer now, and I printed with a very, very, very skinny margin. I don't understand, it's the same kit, but it prints differently. So that is why I never get a journal kit with the wider margins. So I have trouble making them fit into these vin antique or vintage books. Yeah, well, these are antique. These books that I like to use. Um, I don't know why that is. And I, I tried different things like changing the margins and, and um, changing the pa paper size, but no, it doesn't work. It always it always wants to print with a very, very thin margin. So I don't understand that. But we're going to go with it because that's what I have. So anyway, <laughs> I put one of my very, very, very favorite laces on the edges of the front signatures. The only reason this is a shorter piece is because I didn't want to cover up her eyes. And I did the stamping like I did in the blue book on the plain page but you can write over that and added a little embellishment there I've only done that in the first signature and I added vellum pocket with lace over it like I did with blue lace in the other journal now I have the kit and the, the journal kit and the kit came with some ephemera so it came with these gorgeous tags and so I said I didn't know if I would make any more tags to go in the journal but I did want some large ones so I did make some and I'll show you them in a minute 
And then there are some ephemera pieces that come with the kit. I think I got mine in, like I had to buy two kits to get all the pages. Um, but I'm not sure. She may have combined them. I, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I will link. If there's one kit, I will link one. And if there's two, I will link two. There is also an ephemera kit, which I thought about getting. But because, you know, I wanted some pieces that were shaped, not just cards. But um, I spent quite a bit of money on this book right here. It says $7 on the page that I took out still had the price on it and I've had this in my stash for a while yeah I paid seven dollars for that which will have to be reflected in the price of the journal and I didn't want to have to spend more money on a ephemera kit so I figured I have a lot of ephemera in my stash and I am using Mrs. Cog's stitch with me as I did in the other journal but I went through my ephemera and I have so much that I can use that match the colors and the style, the feel. So I am fine without buying the ephemera kit. So this is one that I had just pulled from my stash. So I'm just gonna, oh, let me show you the tags. Again, I used a uh, piano roll. I did a tag Tuesday using piano roll on my tags. I'm trying to find one so I can show it to you. And here it is. And I didn't do a Tag Tuesday video again because it's basically the same thing. Piano roll with a digital image and I stamped on on the blue ones because there was lots of space and some added lace. But for this one it's a larger tag and it's the piano roll. It's a different piano roll with the littler holes. These are big holes. And this is the piano roll I just got in a happy mail. And then um, these were images that I had in my stash and I added some lace to the top. Now this image is, is in my digitals that I sell. Um, one of the antique ephemera, antique or Victorian ephemera sets that I have. These are the original pieces. They came out of a scrapbook and I love them so much. They are in my digitals. So I could have printed them, you know, like, like you would print them from the digitals, but they are a little bit smaller which probably would have been fine on that tag, but if I took this to my printer and just made a copy of these, then I'd get them the same size as these are. So I can't use the originals. I love them too much, and I would miss them if they were gone. <laughs> so I made copies. So these are going to go in the lace pockets. Each uh, signature has a different lace as the pocket. This one's gorgeous. I don't know if one will fit in this one because it's, oh, it does fit. Okay, good. It, it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the page. So we are on the way. We've just gotten started on these, but we are on the way. So let me see. Now we have different types of pages in these um, journals too, because this one has more of the digital, so it has less of the others. But I'm just going to look at what I have done in here and how can I do something similar in this journal. So here I stamped on the back of the digital because it's, I, I did print on the back, but it's kind of plain. Looks like a kind of marbled look. But on the backs of these digitals, I'm not gonna stamp because they are printed with lines, but flowers. So I don't need to do that. This one, I have uh, just a lace accent. So I think I can do something like that on one of the pages. I think I hear thunder. I'm supposed to take, I got my grandsons here today. They're done with school right now. 
but I'm supposed to take them to my friend's house. She's the same age as my kids, but she works at the post office and we became friends because I'm there every day. Not every day, but you know, I'm there several times a week mailing my packages and we became friends. She's such a sweetheart. And she's sending her kids to the same camp that my grandkids are going to and she wants them to meet before they go to camp to make things a little easier. I like this. Now this is my glove box of lace um, bits, scraps and whatnot. So we're supposed to go to her house when she gets out of work. We've got a few hours before that happens. But we may be having thunderstorms because we were supposed to uh, she has a shaded backyard, she said, and she could grill some burgers and the kids could play in the yard and get to know each other. I don't know what we'll do if it's going to thunder and rain. I think I will just... I'll just make that a little flip right there just to have another lacy element and it won't take up space on a writing page because you can flip it up and write. Maybe add a little bit of trim across the top. better. That looks pretty, and you can flip it up and write under it. I'm just getting out pieces that would go with the colors <clears throat> of this journal. And we'll find some for the other pages. I do like the idea of just having a piece of lace on the edge, but I could have saved that lace for, for that project, but I didn't. Maybe I'll use one of those. I had a lot of blue trim. Oh, that one's pretty too. Okay. We have enough to play with. As I pull out one more, let's find another page. did something similar. I had the little blue ribbon and I, I got these at a flea market last year and I don't know if I've used any and if I have, it hasn't been very many. So I think I'm gonna I'll go with that. I 
I'm just going to put glue on half of the ribbon or lace and let half of the lace hang off the page. I'm going to pick my granddaughter up too to go with us because she's going to the same camp. Adam's going to camp, but he'll be going the teen year, the teen week. But he wanted to join us anyway, so I'm bringing along our friend Zoe, so he has somebody his age to hang out with. So I'm going to have a car full of kids. There's that. What shall I do on this page? I could just put a little strip of that on there. It's very pretty. I like it layered like that. it looks better with a smaller piece. ribbons and laces out of my way. Got some glue on there. I think I glued it shut. that open till that glue dries on the lace. All right, what's next? I did a little pocket here with one of their embellishments that came with the kit. And this, um, I put a piece of the flower from that hat I just got at the flea market. So I don't have any ephemera like that from this kit, but like I said, I have other ephemera that I can use. So, let's 
find a page to put a pocket on. I like to put pockets on my scrapbook papers that I use, but I'm not using any scrapbook paper in these journals. And I don't want to cover these images up. So I do want some pockets though. really want to cover the writing space. Well, I've got to put a pocket somewhere. I have to cover something. So... I'll just put it there. It'll take some of your writing space away. This uh, was cut out of a book that I got in a Happy Mail, one of my recent Happy Mails. I've had so many lately. And I'm using some of the stuff that I got in those Happy Mails, so that's great. a book of things to cut out and use in crafts. I think it was actually specifically designed for junk journals. We have uh, the lace pockets, which are also on a plain solid page. They're on the parchment paper page. And that goes to both sides of the signature, the front and the back of the signature. So I'll put this one here, and then I'll find a place for a pocket on another pocket or tuck spot on the back side. So we'll have four pockets in each signature. just do some, hopefully, find some places to add some embellishments. I do want, I have to have places to put some of these tags. I need to use these tags because they're so fabulous. One of the reasons I got this kit, because I loved this corrugated part, but that's it's also on the journal pages. Debbie Ann has such beautiful journal kits at Ephemera's Vintage Garden. I wonder if I put my windows up. hot day. I went and got the boys. I think my windows were up. I don't think I put them down because it was early in the morning when I picked them up. Just want to get rid of that white edge where the cardstock is. These tags are a little small. No, I think one of those will look nice in there. 
I'll do some inking on the back and fix that tag up pretty. Maybe even add a little embellishment. Let's see what I have out here. I've got a lot of flowers. I've got some just things that match the mood and the color that I can use. These little uh, embossed pieces. Of course, I won't use all of these. I won't even use half of them, and then I'll have to put them all back where I got them. But it's good to have an assortment to choose from. pretty tag. I think I'll just leave it for now. Okay. Another thing from this book is just a flower from the uh, digital set that I just glued down and I embellished it. did that here. Oh, doilies. I didn't add my doilies. Here is a good page to do an embellishment. I could. This is a nice piece of sturdy card. This is a Tim Holtz. So I'll do it as a tiny little tuck spot and I can tuck one of these tickets in there when it's dry. I did make vellum pockets, little tiny vellum pockets in the first journal so I could tuck in some genuine cigarette cards. I want to do some fabric clusters. This is a genuine vintage piece. It's pretty big for this little journal. It takes up a lot of space because of the curve. There is lots of journaling space because of the lines and we have lots of digital pages and there is space for journaling on the backs 
of all of the digital pages. So I shouldn't worry about taking up too much writing space to decorate. Now I want a little pocket back here. Yep, it's raining now. What can I use for a little pocket? back them to cardstock. And I used some of my wax seals on a pocket, so maybe on this one I could add a wax seal. And there's thunder. We still have more than two hours before our cookout, so we still have a chance. Let me get my wax seals. I have to make some with the right color. They don't take long to make. I won't do it in this video though. Now that's pretty neat with the dried flour in it. I like that. Let's make sure I have it. I don't want to make it too wide. I don't find these kinds of books much anymore either. Um, and when I do find them, they're smelly and might have really bad stains on them. But fortunately, I like doing all kinds of book covers. It won't. I won't feel terrible if I never, I'm going to just trim this a little bit narrower. I won't feel terrible if I never find one of these pretty books again. Because I have plenty of other ways to create journals. supposed to go that way.
hear the rain. It's coming down pretty hard. So I have these. I'm using greens and reds and pinks mostly for my embellishments, but they have the letter H on them. That was my husband's father's. That would be a pretty one. It's hard to see the flower in there, but I could. I could put some glossy accents on top of that, I think, and just use it that way. And I have a clear one that I could use. Let's put the glossy, whoops, get the right one. Put some glossy accents on there because it's going to take a while to dry. I was experimenting with using um, dried flowers with my wax seals and trying to figure out the best way to do it. Find a pin that will fit in there. Stampin' Up! has a brand of glue that does this, and it's called Crystal Effects. But this is the glossy accents that you find in the craft stores. But they, they're both the same. So now that dried flower is completely covered with this glossy accents and it will harden. I'm going to set it aside because it will take a while and I need to put it where it's not going to be something isn't going to get laid on it. Okay, I have these little oh, I did one of those in this first signature, didn't I? Where did it go? Yeah, right there. And I cut those out with my Big Shot out of gold paper. And I have three of them that I can use. So each signature will get one of those. And I think... See, I can do a, vel a vellum pocket on a printed page you can still see through it and that way I can put in the little cigarette card. And I think I need to add a little more lace, yes. Another row of lace and the fabric cluster we still have to do. This book had a lot of illustrations in it so I was able to use some of the illustrations, but the book that I'm using now doesn't have any. It, it, there were several of the large ones that I made journaling cards with. All right, vellum pocket is what I was doing. want to make sure it's the right width and depth. I didn't think to do this um, until the other one had was all sewn together, so I couldn't sew the vellum. I don't think I want to sew the vellum, because I want it like in the middle of the page, and I don't really want to make stitches in the middle of the page on the other side. So I have to cut it the right width for a cigarette card and the right depth, well, actually. It's 
just a tiny little pocket, just a little place to put one of these. I wanted to use some. that little piece of vellum. Oh, it's still on my cutter. I think that'll work. Put that one up here. this page. I think this is my favorite with the cherries. I think I pulled three cigarette cards from my stash, but I have misplaced one. It's probably buried. a little embellishment too in my stash, a little piece of ephemera that's cherries. Yeah, there it is. I've got to make sure I use that in this book. So this one has pink roses on it. So I might want to use that one here. red. It's a damaged cigarette card, but it's still pretty. I don't know if I want to cover that picture up either. Of course, when you take the, nope, when you take the card out, then you'll be able to see everything. that wide enough. So when you put the glue on, that might not be wide enough. Let's do it that way. I'll put it down here. Yeah, I think that'll look nice there. Now before we go, I'm just going to see if I can find a place to put the cherries. 
This is the signature that has the cherries. There might be cherries on another page too, I don't remember. But I want to put the cherries in this book signature. So I'll have to make some fabric clusters and find a place to put them. And maybe just glue in some other random embellishments here and there. And I'll have to make the cover. But that is the end of this video. Thanks for coming with me today. I hope you were crafting along with me. If not, I hope you were just relaxing and enjoying the video. I think this is going to be a great little journal. I love it. Alright, thanks for watching today, and I hope you're having a creative day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.